Then things start to come down, but it's not a real dramatic cool down. Thursday, we go to 71. We'll be in the 60s for Friday and Saturday, but you can see we're still going to be well above the averages. In fact, 10 degrees above, even at that coldest mark there on Saturday when we hit 68 degrees. Now, beyond that, though, uh, the seven day forecast and then going into the middle part of the month, that's when things start to change. Pretty good signal for below average temperatures across the eastern two thirds of the area. And again, that's the next eight to 14 days. So following the seven day forecast, we'll start to see those numbers not only come back in line with normals, but probably go a little bit below. That's the activity tonight. Got the thumb and a couple of those showers popped up there uh, just around M59 and Point South as they headed out towards Lake St. Clair. Not going to see a lot of activity tomorrow, but again, could see some. And we're keeping our eyes on that low pressure center, which is getting its act together out here in parts of Nebraska. By tomorrow evening, or tomorrow morning, I should say, that low will be in eastern Iowa. But that stationary boundary, again, still draped over the state and really not moving all that much. So if we see another shower or thunderstorm tomorrow, it's likely to be focused right along that in the north zone. Still a chance uh, south of there that we could see a stray shower. Uh, but again, most of us stay dry. Thursday, a better chance of rain. And then again on Friday, as we see more moisture in the core of that low gets a lot closer to us. And that's going into at least a dry start to the weekend. Not necessarily a finish as most Sunday looks like it's going to be wet with a secondary low pressure center coming right over top of us. So lows tonight headed down to 54 and then tomorrow feeling more like June. That's the average we would typically see uh, as we're more than a month in front of us. Winds are going to be light out of the south at 5 to 10. There's the seven day forecast and guys, even though we've got four chances of likely rain, it's going to be Friday and Sunday. Those are going to be probably the wettest of those four days. So if you got plans, may want to avoid those areas as we head towards mm -hmm. the weekend. Okay, Ben, we appreciate it.